Sitting in court, yawning a bore. We all agree, but we must go forth. The queen is waiting for her response. A plant is on trial, it's people on the stand. What happened to freedom of religion in Canada? What happened to this world? What happened what to humanity? What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to Multi-trillion dollar building, this is justice Sleeping by their door it's time we stop, children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. There's battle lines being drawn. And nobody's right. Thanks so much, people. Hey, brother, how you doing? I'm gonna go get some sushi at lunch in the Eaton Center. So much people. We made out all three newspapers in Toronto. The members of the Church of the Universe are seeking a religious exemption to federal marijuana laws. Both were charged with trafficking offenses. to do sacrament over there, so <laughs> that's where I'm heading. You guys are doing sacrament? Of course. What's church. Sacrament? It's time church. It's time church time. Smoke and partake. Smoke and partake. So how do you feel after that? Pretty good? Sure. <laughs> it's easy to tell the truth, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool. It's nice to finally see some cameras here. Oh, I know. It's inevitable. They have to show up with us. Case. It involves a reverend who believes pot is his religion and he shouldn't have to go on trial based on what he believes. Reverend Peter Spreisky faces several drug charges. He's trying to persuade the court his desire to use and distribute pot is rooted in his religion. He says that his freedom is being infringed by current pot laws and believes consuming and sharing cannabis puts people in a more peaceful and reflective state, even closer to God. We, as Church of the Universe members, have a right to use our sacrament. Cannabis Someone won't do it big, Church, Church of the Universe. As in the Bible. Streisky's Church of the Universe was raided by police back in September of 2006, and more than two dozen people were charged. Woo! That was one of them. What a field day for the heat. 
So it's another rainy day, April 8th, the third day, in the street, going to court. Singing songs and and right now inside. we're about to go to the corner store to go get the newspapers because there's probably some articles about the church in there. Because uh, Global and City TV yesterday came down and they were recording us and there's a whole bunch of reporters. So here we are at the corner store going to go see the newspapers. So it's April 9th, 2010, and it's the end of week one for the G13 Mission Church of the Universe Constitutional Challenge. And I have been taking down notes for the whole week. And uh, some media coverage the past couple days. CTV was there, Global was there. I think at one point there was six reporters in there taking down notes, including myself. I think everyone should come down if they have a chance because it's very interesting. Uh, Peter's been on the stand, and uh, he managed to talk about uh, the, the spirituality of dolphins because there was a picture of uh, a statue in the water with dolphins around it that we had at the G13 mission. And so Peter was talking about uh, how some people feel that dolphins are, are very spiritual, very serious energy, and that they may come from Sirius, the Sirius star system. So that was pretty interesting. Talked about 9-11 the Monsanto uh, genetically modified seed company. This is definitely the transition because to speak that on uh, court and record I think it symbolically just shows where we're at. And an update on the Crown's behalf, Devlin, he uh, stood up and said he's fine with calling the members of the church's brothers or sisters if a sister so went. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read something I wrote down April 8th 2010 after experiencing uh, the court where I saw the crown cross-examining Brother Peter. As I sat in the courtroom while watching Brother Peter, I was able to see a snake in the grass, preparing to jump and attack. It was almost like a prey, preparing to pounce on their meal. The snake in the grass was the crown, the queen's representative, basically. And that's what I seen, the reflection of the queen, the reflection of why this world is the way it is. He got raised in there and all of a sudden I woke up I was like <laughs> It's like he tried he takes he takes an approach where he goes like takes you through just here like little cannabis like it's all discredited. Yeah. Um, and it, it's it's a setup. He totally no, no. totally well, loosens you up and then he attacks. And the, and the judge even says, Well that's what his job is. She said it. And you know what I was thinking, if oh, if you know the, the R complex of the brain, like the oldest part of the brain, that's supposedly like when talked about like that reptilian right, stuff, right. and he represents the oh, crown, right. and the theory is the crown, uh, the queen's reptilian, so it's a reflection of the queen. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the brain, the, the method yeah, of thinking, yeah, like it's yeah. an attack, like the snake in the grass. I yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. Yeah. eat your child, <laughs> exactly, I, I, I sacrifice it. <laughs> that's what I noticed. Yeah, it was just the snake in the grass. That's what brothers and sisters are talking about. My homies in fucking jail. You know why are they in jail? Mostly because of cannabis. No violence. Nothing. Just cannabis. I'm not saying violence. They're brothers too. Sometimes they, they get treated like criminals and they don't even feel like brothers because everybody keeps telling them they're fucking criminals and then they act like criminals because they're told. Oh yes. It's pathetic. Yes. And if you told them we love you, brother, and smoke all you want, the criminal shit would be over. Over. They'd sell their shit and be happy and they'd be all smiling all the time and be no problem. <laughs> what a paradox! <laughs> what an irony! Yes. This is. Yes. Somewhere in space. Anyway, I'm saving all the best for you, okay? <laughs> the justice said before. Trust me, I'm saving the best for you. Those guys can't handle what we, you and I say. They can't. They don't. They'll just go right over there. And, what? Where? Who? What? Is unconditional love? What? What is, what is, what is love? Unconditional What is mean? truth? What is yeah, truth? Like, what is that? Wow. What a concept. Truth. Oh my god. I never fucking even thought of that. It's time we stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down.